was here at Stony Lane in Birmingham where one of the most intriguing underdog stories of England's modern day cricket took shape. A father son duo took to the tarmac behind a school, set up nets in the backyard of the house, put together a bowling machine in the living area, breathed cricket, lived it, at times without food as well. And from here, Moin Ali would live his dream, walking through the long room at Lords to play test cricket for England. I was so nervous yaar when when he went to bat at number 6 yes yeah. as he came in big row went in because mohin ali and you know all that and yeah. you know as the sri lankan bowler he is running in and all i did was i sh shut put my head down like this and shut my eyes yeah. and i and, and uh, i said i heard ooh because he played you know he played and then i i opened my eyes and my wife kadir and kabir and all the family were there yeah. and, and they were looking and i was so honestly my hands were shaking my legs yeah. were shaking yeah. it was only the i think the sixth or the seventh ball yeah. that i saw a big cheer went and i opened my eyes and the ball was going for four he had clipped one of his legs for four and i was hoping first match he had a lords killer if even if he gets 20 20 bana de i'll be happy you know 20 yeah. and uh, kitne bana us match 48 If Moin walked a mile, he always had his father by the side. And Moin knows that he wouldn't have been half the player he is if not for his dad juggling between day jobs, making ends meet, and let none of that affect him. A lot of financial struggles yeah. we, we had. I lost my job and you know I was and then I started doing you know bits and bobs there and there was a time when we used to my, my brother and I used to sell chickens. We used to go to farm and buy about 100 chickens and yeah. sell them and make a 50p each chicken that's how we survived you know selling yeah. chickens door to door and my brother used to sometimes work and i used to take the boys one of us used to have say i'm going to go with the boy and you go to work so he used whatever he used to earn we used to spend on the petrol yeah. the money was spent on the we used to make money just to hand to mouth just to feed ourselves at night the beauty thing was the kids did not demand for it you give me 2 years of your life and i will give you the rest of your life and he said that what you mean i said well just 2 years no friends no going out just work 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 after 2 years if you don't make it you got everything else you want to do then it's fine so for those 2 years you know we moin was used to train in the house we bought a bowling machine right and they had no space so we put it in the house in, in the lounge right before moin's presence on the international stage stood out it was his beard that did growing up as a british muslim he too had to fight stereotypes he he was a very um, extrovert lad you know very yeah. sort of jolly going here and there you know and all that yeah. and all of a sudden he starts to change and i was i'll be honest with you i was a bit afraid of his change yeah. you know because yeah. i wanted him to focus on the sport the the cricket as a father yeah. but i want him to focus and i could see some changes in him beard and you know reading namaz and doing this and doing you know mosque and praying and talking to people about religion and i could see that and i was worried that he his attention might divert to that side this was my sort of inner worry i didn't mention it to moin and everybody but my inside was worrying yeah. but then i saw, i saw a better person in him you know he, he became confident he became more you know a, a, he had more awareness of the game and more awareness of the world and how he had sort of a a, a picture of what he wanted to be and how he wanted to be in the words of moin's father munir they didn't have the option of failing winning is a habit for champion sportsmen but moin has made it a way of life when you look at moin do you feel proud as a father or do you feel blessed blessed because um because i never imagined in my life that we are we were going to achieve what we achieved so it's all god's blessing yeah. but it's been pure hard hard work and sacrifices i said to moin i said if ever you make it yeah. all i want is one nice big house and a nice car and you have both now i have both <laughs>